What's going on everybody? I'm Christian, your host for Unique Cut. And on this episode, I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm just going to be talking to, again, you, you, you newer barbers, and even some of you older barbers that's been in it for a while. This was like, um, something that like, I didn't realize till I started at the shop I was at. And that's um, being diverse. Being able to cut multiple types of hair at any late time, like, and it's it's a big deal where I live at, like. So I'm gonna drive myself to work right now, and um, I get to shop. I'll start this uh, this not discussion because you guys ain't talking back, but so I'll let you guys know on like diversity in the shop so I guess I'll see you guys in a little bit and thanks for being here well, like I was saying in the um, intro I'm gonna talk about like diversity in the shop and it's not really like I'm not meaning like diversity like meaning that the barbers are like themselves are diverse. I mean being diverse in your haircuts. Um, I mean being able to like get every type of haircut done. Every type of like texture without having to like, like oh, seeing that fear in your face when a certain type of hair walks in. Cause not only is that like a bad look person like for your personal self, but it's a bad look for your customers that never been in your chair before and then it's like they see your face and it's like he doesn't he doesn't he or she doesn't feel comfortable with my hair texture, I don't know if I feel comfortable getting in that chair. Um, like I said, I've been doing cutting hair for a while now. So I, I, what did I apprentice in the shop back when I was 16? 33 now. So it's been a while. But like before I started in this barber shop, I was not diverse at all. When I started here, my sheer game was garbage. And like that affected my customers when I started here. Um like it just once I got my shears right, I just watched my like ev like evolution as a barber just go like crazy. I'm going from like maybe doing six heads a day, maybe doing ten, to being packed out, open to close every day because I can do any type of haircut. My customers know I can do any type of haircut. My clients that I've had for a long time feel more comfortable getting different types of haircuts now. It's like. If you're not good at one aspect, don't just settle at what you are good at. The aspect that you're not good at, work on it, grind on it, and just make sure like you really get it in there. Because once you do, you'll you'll just like I said, you'll see like your evolutionists go crazy. Again, like I said when I started, like I. I couldn't use shears like I could like I knew the basics like don't get me wrong I can get a haircut done but it wouldn't be as clean as like it is now like um if you go on YouTube like if you're not in school no more or if you're out of like you're in school still go on YouTube watch that one thing that you have a problem with just keep on watching you watch multiple people do it not just one person not like Two people watch everybody do it just so you can get like different aspects of the same technique so like you can get it done right. It's like like I was saying, like I was really good at fades with like a number on top, tapers with a guard on top, like once it came down to like to traditional haircut, comb over, stuff like that, I was just like, Ugh. but 
But now, traditional is my favorite haircut. So like, once you do master what you're bad at too, you're gonna find that love for barbering a little bit more like every day. I know I'm rambling, like probably like this guy's talking for no reason, but it's all facts that like you really need to like get those in, get those in your head and get those in your heart, and like you'll, you'll just get it popping like in the shop. I'm not, I'm not like just talking to talk. So like I've been seeing it like cause we have new two new barbers that are in school, and like they get good. Like I'm not, they're getting really good really fast. And they're focusing on those those spots that are like giving them trouble, and that's making them better barbers. I guess I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna give you a show on diversity. No, I'm not gonna <laughs> step by step it or nothing. I'm just gonna show you a couple, of, like me being diverse in the shop with different hair textures and everything, and show you like it can be done. You don't have to focus on one type of hair. I'll see you guys a little bit.
right, so like I was saying early in the episode, you gotta be diverse as a barber. You can't you can't just be good at one type of hair. I showed you guys um just two of multiple kinds of haircuts I do. I just didn't have time have a chance to record anymore. You got my boy Sean. You got my boy Joe. Two totally different types of hair. Just two of the many types that I cut every day in the shop. Hold on, I got a car coming behind me. So, you gotta be diverse. You can't just be stuck on one thing. Um, once you get diverse, that's when like you're gonna start seeing like your cash flow go up. You gotta start seeing the, you know, your booking however you do it, if you write it down, if you use an app, you're gonna start seeing like a double and quadruple, it's just gonna be crazy. Like once you start like being diverse. Don't get me wrong. Hold on, Carl. Don't get me wrong, it's cool. If you work in a shop that only does one type of hair, but like if you're trying to broaden yourself as a barber, you gotta do multiple kinds. Again, Sorry, I keep sniffling, I'm a little bit sick. I got some cars again. It's always when I'm recording, bad cars. Always. It's like a good seven people coming by right now. back but um yeah just be diverse and you'll be like I was saying be diverse and you'll just be that much better well I just want to say thank you again for watching another episode you cut I'm your host Christian as usual and um yeah I'll see you guys next time got the buttons like subscribe share thank you for watching